first thing we're going to do is we're going to shred some potatoes to make hash browns. Now that I've got them all shredded, I'm going to put them in some water and I'm going to rinse them really, really well. I'm going to strain them in the strainer and then I'm going to rinse them again. Strain them in the strainer and then we're going to squeeze all the water out. Water is clear and it's not milky anymore. You know that you've rinsed them very, very well. Now we're, now we're just going to squeeze all the water out. Just like that. Next, I'm going to saute some onions. Once those are sauteed, I'm going to remove those from the pan. Okay, now I'm going to take my hash browns. I've got that onion flavor in there where I've sauteed the onion. I'm going to put the hash browns down in here and I'm going to brown them because I like the flavor that it gives when it browns it up, especially with that onion flavor in there. So I'm just going to spread it around a little bit. Heat on medium and we're just going to let that sit for a little bit. In the meantime, I've got some brown gravy. I've got my sauteed onions, I've got some ground beef that I've browned up already, and I'm going to combine all that together uh, in a bowl with some mixed vegetables. An iron skillet and a can of crescent rolls, and now it's time to assemble. Okay, <clears throat> now I've placed my crescent rolls like a star shape, like this, in my pan. And now it's time to start putting everything together. Okay, in a larger bowl, I've added my gravy. My onions. My ground beef. I went ahead and smushed it all together so that it gets to the sides here because when you put this mixture in there it's going to act like a pie crust and I'm going to add some canned corn to give it some vegetable and we're going to mix it all up now I'm going to put the mixture in the pan I'm going to spread it out Nice and easy. And then we're going to take our well drained hash browns, crumble it on the top. You can add more if you like, but one potato was all I had. There we go. And now we're going to flap over the ends and stretch them a little bit to meet in the middle as well as you can. Just like that. And then I preheated my oven to 375 and we're going to pop it in the oven. And we're done. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? It took about 15 minutes to bake in the oven on 375. Now we're going to let it sit about 10 minutes and then we're going to eat. Alright, let's see how it turned out. Mmm, that looks so good. Alright, let's give it a taste test. Mmm, that's really good. Mm-hmm.